Hi guys, we're back here at A. Leonard Rao, helping founders and professionals turn into leaders. I'm Armin Rao and I'm here to make you a better manager. Today I will show you how to translate your vision for your company into hyper-motivation for you, your employees and everyone around you. Before I begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to always get my newest videos. When you craft the vision to leading a successful business venture, you need to make sure it follows a few core principles. It should be compelling, it should be emotional, it should be big, it should be brave, and it has to make sense. Uh, the medium through which you share your vision is your story and how you tell it. Every time you explain your vision, it should reflect the five components I mentioned earlier. They should be shown in a way that makes your story simple, unexpected, concrete, emotional and full of substance so that you captivate your audience. Share your story as often as possible and make sure you share it in public as well. Once you speak out your ideas, it will make it easier for yourself to follow them and act accordingly. This will serve as your motivation. Let's take a look at a few of the greatest stories ever told in speeches. What all of the following examples have in common is the fact that they start with a vision and subsequently, subsequently lead to motivation. You will see that they are all based on good stories. First, let's have a look at Martin Luther King in 1963. He uttered the most famous words, I have a dream. He went on to talk about his vision of people of all races living together in peace in the US and how he aspired to make that happen. In that same year, John F. Kennedy gave a speech in Berlin, speaking out in German, Ich bin ein Berliner. With these words, he metaphorically explained that the US and he, as the first potential representative, stood behind and would protect the city. This is a story that touches people, especially by using the German language. When you are touched by an idea or a concept, you are motivated to support it. Lastly, let's have a look at Charles de Gaulle's appeal in June 1940 and uh, in the middle of the uh, World War when Germany uh, was occupying France. He said to his fellow countrymen in a U speech from the UK that they uh, should uh, stick to their guns and that the future would be bright and this is um, the uh, birth uh, place so to speak of the uh, French resistance. All these examples shows that uh, among all these uh, famous speeches of all time the vision of the future is expressed in a simple story and this automatically leads to motivating the people. In order for you to achieve the same results in your business, follow these steps whenever you think or speak about your vision. First of all, formulate it. Secondly, tell a story that makes it more captivating, for example, by using a metaphor, and then ask your team to support the achievement of that vision. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment with feedback if you like. I personally respond to all of your comments. Thanks for watching. This was Armin Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.